So what I could save here, I can put in my house. An emotional day for Sandra Dampier. She lives in Everglades City and is one of the dozens of people picking up food at this mobile pantry from the Harry Chapin Food Bank. Her house was virtually destroyed by Hurricane Irma's storm surge. I on a limited income and I did not have insurance on my house. She's not the only one the surge affected. Everything's gone. We lost our organ, piano. Reverend Dr. Bob Wallace is the pastor at Everglades Community Church, where food distribution used to take place for more than 80 families. Like a lot of the buildings in Everglades City, this one still needs a lot of work. The walls are still torn out and the floors are still bare, which is why they had to move out of this room to the side of the road. I think now we're going to be going back into the church with this distribution, maybe around the 1st of February. Despite the obstacles, everyone here is taking the rebuilding process one day at a time. What we try to do is tell them that uh, this isn't it. This isn't the end. And neighbors like DM here appreciate any help they can get. This is the first time that I've ever used the food bank before. I've been able to see how much help there is out there. In Everglades City, Channing Frampton, Wink News Now.